couldn't imagine the hundreds of hours I spent putting all this stuff together. And a lot of plastic. Hi, my name's Will Reeb. Um, I've been collecting uh, Aurora plastic model kits and uh, other, I guess, uh, pulp culture toys and stuff like that since probably the mid 80s. Will Reeb's collection ranges from action heroes to spaceship models and monster figurines. A lot of them can be worth a lot of money. A lot of them are hard to find. Most of the kits you're seeing here are um, uh, I bought off of eBay. <laughs> I don't think I have the same collection I had except for eBay because you can't really find this stuff in collector's markets. Reeb's friend and fellow collector Troy Winchester agrees it's quite an investment. He's given up a big part of his house to put his models on display. Did you want to see my hobby room where I do all this? Uh, this is like an episode of Hoarders almost. Downstairs, Winchester keeps boxes upon boxes of model kits. It's here he explains how he got hooked on this hobby. And you really don't need any more, but you just keep buying them. It's really weird. It's... It's like people with their tattoos, they get one, and next thing you know, their body's covered in tattoos, and you wonder why, but maybe it's, a, it's kind of an addiction, I guess. Not all the kits come from a box. Reeb also restores old models. Kid built this back in the, probably the late 50s. It's an army soldier guy with, uh, there's all his bits and pieces. And it's just a challenge to get them back looking the way they should, and uh, they're... It's just it's it's just fun to do. I mean, it's you know it's 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 it's, it's the little little intricate works of art, each of them, every one of them. Will Reeb said he spent hundreds of hours assembling Aurora figurine kits just like these. He's hoping to one day reorganize the space to add even more. For MRU, I'm Brian Weismiller.